And welcome to lesson 21 of the Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation reading and writing program. It's a new unit and we have some new letters to learn. So let's get right into it. Our first letter is the sound, makes the sound J and it is actually called Jim. If you can remember, we learned this a couple lessons back, but we're going to uh, learn it in a little bit more detail in this lesson. So that's what it looks like. So there are four letters with the same uh, type, the same base, and when you have a dot underneath, it's a J. And then we are also going to look at the letter H. So if you have no, uh, no dots at all, it's the letter H. And remember, there's another type of letter, uh, another letter that makes the same sound as H. So you just have to memorize when each of those is used. That's the letter he, letter j. So as always, let's go through our six vowels. And this should be very easy for you at this point. Uh, and go ahead and get out a piece of paper and practice writing along with me. First, we're going to write jaw. Then we're going to write ju. And we're going to write G. Then J. J. And Jo. So again, hopefully you have your piece of paper out and you're practicing writing with me. Uh, I'll say it first so you can write it and then see how I do it. So first, ha. Then we have who. We have he. And then very simply, ha, he, and ho. So we're not going to spend any more time on this because this should be very easy for you at this point. Let's move on to some words. So let's first start with our letter J. So we had orange for J. Let's continue with that. J. Jaw. Jaru. The word for vacuum. Jaru. Very easy. Jam. A kind of plate or bowl, jam. Then we have one of my favorite words and my son Caspian's favorite words. He says it all the time. Juju, juju. And that's the word for a little bird, juju. So let's practice reading these together. Jaru. Jam and juju. Let's do a few more. Now let's practice our accent vowels. And again, if you have that piece of paper out, go ahead and practice writing along with me. These are all in your uh, PDF bonus materials, so you can practice writing them. Go ahead and print that out and practice writing with me as we do these lessons. Uh, this is jashna, jashna. So there's no vowels here, so they kind of run together, jashna. And that is the word for a party or a celebration. Next, j, j, 
Ju. Jurab. Jurab. And that is the word for sock. Next. Ja vob. Ja vob. So that is an answer. And if you remember, we did a, um, a lesson on exceptions last time, and we learned that if you have ge, ve, and a, sometimes that becomes ha. That is the only letter that that happens with. Uh, that never happens with any other letter. So if you see a ja and a u afterwards, it's always ja vob. Ja vob. Okay, next. Now, let's look at a different letter. We're going to throw this in there just for practice. So we learned uh, that different base with a dot above it. Can you remember what that is? It's a ch, so tacht. And that is the word for a bed. So tacht, again, remembering how much of a difference dots make. And last word that we are going to practice on this page is jam sheed. Jam sheed. And that is a very common man's name in Persian. So as we always do, let's go through these again. You read it first, and then I will read it for you. Jaru. Next. Jam. Juju. Jashna. Jurab. Javob. Tacht. A different letter with the same base. And finally, Jamshid, a common guy's name. All right. Now, let's practice some words with the letter he. And I'm going to use this purple marker, which before filming this, Caspian, my aforementioned son, drew all over the couch with it. So, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hopefully it'll come out. Um, this is hole. So no dots anywhere. This becomes a he. This is hole. And that is the word for towel. Next. This is an important word. They're all important, but harf. And that is the word for word or speaking word. Harf. Next. Hassos. Hassos. And that means sensitive. Hassos. Harir. Harir. Next. This is also a very common word in Iran. We have both our he and our je in there. It's hijab, hijab. And it means the same thing in English as it does in Persian. So the covering, hijab, which is mandatory in Iran. And last, this is actually one of my 
favorite words. Hall. And hall literally means present or condition, but it also is a word of being in a state of bliss because you're so connected to the present moment. So when you're asking how someone is doing, you say, Halit chetore. How is your state of being? How are you at the moment? Uh, so you can use it to say, you're in a state of hal, means you're in a state of bliss because you're uh, in the present. So literally just present moment. So again, let's go over all these words. There's hole, towel, harf, word, hassos, Sensitive. Harir. Hijab. And hall. Present. So now for this next last thing that we're going to do for this lesson, I've already written out this uh, sentence and I want us to read it together. So we're gonna get in the practice of reading longer sentences, longer paragraphs, uh, because at this point, you know enough letters uh, that we can supply you with entire paragraphs and you will be able to read them, hopefully. So, Madar, Rit, oops. I missed this. Madare. Jamal Baroye U Do Jujeye Kuchak Haride Bud. So hopefully you got all that. We have a few of our uh, same base letters. So you should remember that from the last lesson. Che. Uh, we have our J and our Ch. Here, so ma dare, and we have all of our vowels supplied. So remember, when you're reading actual things in a book or something, uh, you're not going to have these vowels. You're they're going to be understood. But at the point where you're reading books like that, you will have enough experience that you'll be able to know which vowels should be there. But we're going to supply you that for a while until you get the hang of it. So ma dare, Jamal, the mother of Jamal, which is a common name, Jamal, baraye. U for him. Do jujeye. Two little birds. Kuchak. Kharide but. So kuchak means little, so that's kind of redundant. Jujeye kuchak, little birds. Purchased. She had purchased. So Jamar's mother had purchased two little birds for him. So Madare Jamal. Baraye u do jujeye kuchak haride bud. So uh, one other thing that I want to point out, um, in case you didn't know, u just means he or she. So we don't have gendered pronouns in Persian. It's very progressive that way. So uh, unless you know what gender this, right now we know Jamal is a man. So we know that u means him. But unless you specify in what you're talking about, which gender the person is, is basically like saying they. So the mother of Jamal bought two little birds for they, for them. Um, so that's our little paragraph. We have more on the PDF guide. There's a longer paragraph, a longer sentence that you can read. Um, and you can practice, practice reading longer sentences in that way. And that's it for this lesson, lesson 21. And we'll see you next time with lesson 22. Thank you so much for watching the Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation reading and writing program. As I mentioned in the video, this video is just one part of the complete reading and writing system that we've created. And you can find all of our bonus materials, which include reading practices and writing practices on our website. The link is below, chaiandconversation.com. In addition to our reading and writing program, we have a comprehensive a conversational Persian course where we teach you how to speak conversational Persian the way actual Iranians do, not informal Persian that you read. 
And so uh, that's available on the website as well as our reading and writing program. So if you just go on there, you can see all the materials that we've created over the last 10 years. And hopefully we'll see you there.